and welcome. Today we're going to show you the basics of manual control, practical usage, how to trip a relay, how to generate a fault, how to generate a pre-fault, and also how to use Delta uh, way of generation. So opening manual control, first thing we'll do, we will connect to the RTS, pressing the button connect, okay, the RTS, USB. You will see now this not connected becoming connected. And after they connect, I check also on the DRTS and I see it's written remote control. Now, before we start, let's explain shortly the prefold and the fold and the differences. Prefold and fold, they both generate the same same currents and same voltages. When I say same, I mean uh, there are no essential differences between these two states in the type of currents and voltages they generate. The difference is only in stopping this sequence, stopping that generation. If you're in the prefold, you can stop this generation in two ways. First of all, you can press reset and thus stop prefold generation. Or if you have a prefold state and after that fold state, the prefold will stop after this time has elapsed. So just to repeat, prefold cannot be stopped with a contact. That's the biggest difference between prefold and fold. And prefold, if used by itself without any stage after that, if you just have the prefold, then you can generate until you say reset instrument. Fold, on the other side, is slightly different because here generation can be stopped with a contact, meaning when the relay trips, but also after that, uh, another way how fault sequence can, can end is after this maximum time elapses. So fault state will always stop after a certain period of time and prefold state will stop only if you press reset or if you have a prefold and after that a fault state then the prefold will last this much. But if you want to check for example measurement on your relay I will generate here intentionally three different currents and three different voltages because if I do that then when I will be generating the currents and voltages on my relay I'll be able to see if I maybe switched some phases so right now in order to generate prefold the only thing you need to do is to press generate prefold I'm looking at my relay now and as I generated these three values I can see here 025 05 075 I'm checking on the relay also and I can see that my voltage is 60 30 and 15 so I corrected uh, I connected all my phases correctly and current is 025 05 075 which means I connected correctly all my phases now, if you want to change this measurement, for example, you are a protection engineer and your SCADA engineer is asking you to give him some measurements, like 100%, then, if, then you can do this. Let's say 0 0.5 is 100% and 57.735 is 100%. And right now, nothing has changed on the relay in the generation and nothing will change will not change until I press this so by pressing again generate prefold you are updating these changes you see also here nothing is updated but when I press this now you will see this changed and I'm checking the relay three times 0 0.5 that's fine and the voltage is 57.76 57.76 50 which is fine so if I want to stop the prefold, I will press reset instrument. Now, let's say that I want to trip my relay. Now I need to go to my fault tab and generate a current which I know will trip the relay. 8 amps will surely trip the relay. For this example, I don't need voltage because I'm testing an overcurrent relay. Now, in order to be sure that everything 
will go well. I'm going to check also my contacts. C1 is the contact I'm using. It is a normally open contact. And by clicking here, I can check if it's a dry contact. Yes, it's a dry contact. If you want some other contacts, for example, C3 and C4 to be DC, like this, then you just do this, press OK, exit, and then you can see that this is dry and this is DC. I'm good, and I'm using only C1. I click OK, and then I add to the test list 8 amps, and observe this field here because the tripping time will be coming right, at, right there. I start the test, and first I see about 3 seconds of pre-fault, and then I see a pickup and a trip on my relay, and I see the tripping time 200 milliseconds, 210.5 here. I'll try another point, 12, just on phase 1. I'm going to add this to the test list, and I'm going to start the test. I expect instantaneous tripping. In practicality, it will be probably about 30 to 40 milliseconds. So we got a tripping of 39.5 seconds, and we can say that we tested these two parts of our overcurrent uh, application, uh, overcurrent protection. Now, in order to check the whole characteristic, I'm going to choose another type of test. First of all, I'm going to delete all this by clicking Delete All Rows. Yes. And I'm going to go to Prefaults again. And my Prefault, I'm going to make this shorter. I'm going to make this only one second. And I'm going to add Prefault to Test. And then in Fault, I'm going to choose Delta. And just to be sure what delta is, we'll press this. So you see, I'm going to start, let's say, with 3 amps. And then I'm going to have a pre-fault. And then I'm going to have a delta of 0 0.5. So 3.5, pre-fault 1 second, full, 4, pre-fault 1 second. And I'm going to have this n times. How many times? I will decide. So I click OK. I say, I'm going to start from 3 amps on all three phases. My delta will be 0 0.5 amps on all three phases. Of course, you can do it for only one phase. And I'm going to have 20 tests. In order to verify everything is correct, I check also again contacts. This is fine. And I add to test list. And I can see that I will have the tests starting from 3, then going to 3.5, 4, 4.5, etc. So let's start this test. While the test is being executed, observe this column, because this is the column which will be filled in by the tripping time coming from the relay. To make it more clearer, I will tell you that this relay has uh, three parts uh, of overcurrent characteristic from 1 amp all the way to 7.6 amps we have IEC uh, class uh, B very inverse characteristic then from 7.6 to 10 amp we have a definite time tripping in 200 milliseconds and from 10 amps on we have instantaneous tripping which in practicality is about as we saw 30 to 40 milliseconds and as the test is being executed, you can see that these points, if they were to be connected, would resemble a certain curve, and I assure you that's an IC class B very inverse curve. You can also see that the tripping time decreases exponentially, of course, and soon, as we, after this test, the tripping will become much quicker, so 200 milliseconds, everything from 7.6 to 10, so we see 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and we also see that this is a curve, and that this is definite time trip. We have a few more tests to do now. We jumped from 200 milliseconds to instantaneous tripping, which is, as we said, between 30 and 40 milliseconds. And 
this is now 11.5, 12 amps, and the last point is 12.5. You see now we have IC class B, we have definite time and another definite time. We can give it names, X is current in amps, and here we have time in seconds, and we can also give it a title. Title can be right. <clears throat> we can also go to advanced graph settings and say join with lines, and we get a much nicer presentation. And we can also change the type of graphical representation, but I would guess the one we had before was the best. So either linlin or linlog like this one. We'll take this and right now I'm going to save this test file and I'm going to save it in TDMS. TDMS, as you know, is the name of the software, but TDMS also has database and in the TDMS database I'm going to save this file so that I can call it whenever I need and reuse it again. I'm going to choose, for example, a certain network. Let me see which one would be the best for me. Let's say Italia, Genova, Line 1, Relays, and I will choose this relay here, which I test, which I have tested, and I will say manual test click so Italia Genova line one save and with this I have finished my testing I can now close this I can go home come tomorrow and if I do come tomorrow and I need to test same type of relay I'll go to network tree and I will have Italia Genoa line one relays this is my relay and we can see the test we did and I can reuse that by just clicking execute test this will open the same application with the same testing points and it will allow us to do the same test again so the only thing we would need to do is to connect say okay again we observe the not connected which becomes connected as we connect and right now I can say select all and then I just say repeat selected tests if I'm testing another relay I don't want these values to be overwritten so I can say new test ID but if I'm just repeating the test on the same relay then I will just say yes overwrite the results so if I say new test ID and I call it let's say test 2 he's going to start it's going to start again testing my relay so first he will be generating 3 amps and he is generating 3 amps I do confirm I see a pickup and I see a trip Now, this is the best way how to save your time. For example, we see tripping here. We stopped it now not to have the same story again. And we can also disconnect because I want to show you another thing you can do. Here, instead of using execute test, you can also use it to print your results. So we can change a logo. We can say... let's say let's take a logo of creation transmission utility hops print review while he's preparing this we can decide whether we want to print in pdf excel or some other of course the fact that we printed from the network tree 
copies this, 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 and this into our report. So we can see Italia, Genova, Linea 1, Italia, Genova, Linea 1, or Line 1, and excuse me, we can see here the results. So we chose not to have them connected. This is ISC class B, tripping in 200 milliseconds, and instantaneous tripping. You decide for yourself which values you want here. Obviously here, these are not some values which are desired, but the printing is done just by pressing this desktop, and then, for example, printing in PDF, giving it a name one, and saying save. That way, you can choose to save time by preparing the files, which can be run over and over, and you can also print results from here. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in our next session.